Rafael Fiziev had a massive win over RDA. Huge win for him. Biggest win of his career in terms of notoriety, high profile, main event. Wanted to check in with him. Uh, we were hoping to talk to him last week, but then he had to go uh, under the knife, so to speak. He's good enough, kind enough to join us. It's very late where he is, so let's not keep him waiting any longer. The man himself, Rafael Fiziev, kind enough to join us here. And we're also being joined by manager to the stars and also translator to the stars, Sayat, also on the Zoom machine. Hello, Rafael. How are you? Hey, what's up, bro? Good, good. Uh, oh, great. Great. Well, thank you for doing this. I know it's late where you are right now in Thailand, so I appreciate it very much, and we won't keep you very long. And, and thank you, Sayat, for being here as well. You're welcome, man. Cool. Yeah, thank you for having us. All right, cool, guys. Uh, so... First, I have to ask you, Rafael, how are you feeling? We saw the picture of you after your nose surgery. Didn't even know that you injured your nose in the fight. Uh, you, you look a lot better now. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great after surgery. Just a couple of days ago, to take off this shit from, from my nose. After surgery, oh, five days, I can't sleep. Oh, broken nose, that, that's real shit, man. And, uh, yeah, but now it's good. All good. Still has some, some beautiful eye. Yeah. It's okay. Now, when did you break the nose? I think this round, this is first round with first, his first punch. Come on. First punch? Yeah. This, I think, yeah, this, that's first left hand. Oh my gosh. And you could tell right away? Yes, because, because all fight, I, I feel my nose is closed, like, they can't, can't breathe, you know? Ultimately, you won the fight. You got a finish. Impressive. But do you think it affected you? Like, do you think if this didn't happen, you could have finished the fight earlier? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't know what happens if, if broke or no, or have or no, you know? It just happens, uh, but this is what it is. That is crazy. So you fought another four or so rounds with uh with a broken nose and and it didn't bother you all that much like he's punching you you're breathing your cardio all that like it didn't you don't feel like it affected you no 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 i'm i'm i feel okay okay well wow. i feel okay it's like i'm just after fight like i i feel like oh my nose is broken but in the fight i don't feel nothing okay first time you break your nose yeah first time wow and uh what did they say about the surgery all good full recovery yeah, doctor say all good. Like after uh, they, they say he say me like one month I can't use glasses. Huh. And this is sad because I like go to, going to the, to the to the beach with sunglasses, take a sun, you know. But now I can't use can't use sunglasses. Why not? Shit. Why can't you use sunglasses? I don't know. Doc, doctor say it cannot because it's pressure for nose. Oh, okay. Um and. And what about when you could start like sparring, getting punched in the face, things like that? Oh, I don't know, man. You, uh, he, he just said, don't use glasses one month. Wow. One month. And now when I can start like train, I don't know, it's, it's sure like, like months also. Really? So is it possible that you won't fight again this year? Well, I hope, I hope, I hope. We'll see what happened with my nose. Last time when I make surgery for my knee, my knee surgery, like after seven months, I, I ready to fight. But I'm quick, you know, I'm like, I'm like street dog. Yeah. If I have some injury, it's, it's going off fast, you know, and I hope this time the same. Okay. Uh, o overall, you look back on your performance, huge win over a veteran, very tough guy. Were you happy with... You know the fight that you had. Were you happy with what you did against RDA? Ну, в целом отличное выступление. Доволен ли ты проведенным боем? Yeah, you know, I watch, I watch, I watch the fight after, and uh, this is a, this is the first what for first my fight. What I like, I really like this fight. What I do in this fight. How I follow my game plan, how I listen my my corners, and all this stuff. And this is first fight in my career what I like. This is the first fight of your career that you like. 
Yeah. All the other ones you didn't like? No, many, many, many moments I don't like. Wow. This fight, many, many moments I like. You know what I do? Oh, what, what did you like about the fight? Could you tell us a few moments that you like about it? You mean what I like? Yeah, yeah. What did you like about it? Yeah, I like how I, I like how I control my how I control my uh, how how to say in English how to explain it uh, how I control my emotions mm. how I save the distance what I need distance how I like I don't panic in the cage when he pressure me you know when he try to take my back I don't panic you know. Like uh, and also, like uh, I don't, I don't give him a lot of takedowns. Just mm-hmm. one, just one, you know. And uh, yeah, have still a couple moments what I don't like because he broke my nose. Yeah. But uh, this how I how I save distance, uh, and how I attack him. This 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 I like. This first time I like. You know. Uh, first big you know fight for you as far as main event headliner. Uh, against the legend, did you feel nervous before it? No, I feel I feel nice because I like. I really feel nice because like, because this this is why I'm here. You know why I'm in the UFC. This is my dream, and uh, now it's dream coming to real, and I'm happy. So I'm just nervous, but we have about five rounds. I'm just not nervous about this. Oh, interesting. But now you're probably not nervous anymore, right? Because you did it. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> what did you feel? Did he's you feel lying. Nervous? He's always nervous, Ariel. Uh, he's lying. He's always nervous, Ariel. <laughs> ah, <man. laughs> you want? You want? You want? I tell. I tell you some stories. Some, Please. Some small story about about small small pussy inside of me. <laughs> Please go ahead. <laughs> what did you do? You throw up? <laughs> because uh, because because always before fight. I have like small, small pussy inside of me, you know. And before fights, they start to talk, you know, oh, you lost. You know? Oh, this guy knocked you out. Oh, this guy is smashing you. You know, all oh, this. And when I go into the cage, this pussy like going off and I ask like, hey, where are you? You want to talk, you want to talk now? <laughs> and this is for the, this pussy like go like, 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 so basically what he's saying is that little little coward that lives inside of him, once he makes his walk to the octagon, this little coward is run away until the next fight. And then when the next fight comes, this little coward comes back and starts to tell him, oh, you're going to lose and stuff like this. Yeah. And then he gonna, he's like uh, kicking him away again. Oh, yeah. This English what I need. This English what I need. Yeah, you're gonna work on that. Your English is getting a lot better, and I think I need, I need, for, I need work for this. I'm lazy, man. But you know, um, this this little coward that you talk about, does he come up the moment you sign for the fight, or does he come up fight week, or does he come up the day of the fight? When do you start to feel this presence? This, this coming for like one week, fight week. Ah, and then on the on the day of the fight, like Saturday morning, how do you feel? Very nervous. Oh, Saturday morning, this 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 shit, man. <laughs> it's like this is like the peak peak version of ultra ultra support. So it's a, like a peak moment of it. The ma- it was a, when he feel it on the maximum. Oh man. yeah, <laughs> anxiety. You throw up. Show me what you forgot. No, типа от от того, что ты нервишь, ты тебя рвет, да? No, 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 never throw up. Okay. Uh, but this time, yeah, this time, one time I threw out Sayat, do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I can, I can tell you the story. Like, tell me, tell basically, me. Basically, the night night before the fight, he cannot <laughs> go to sleep. So he took one melatonin pill, then he took second, third, then he like still couldn't fall asleep. Then he took another like uh, some CBD gummy with melatonin. He oh. take it and then he asked me, and then he asked me, oh, did I take too much melatonin? Is it going to affect me during the fight? I was like, why do you do something? And then you think about what, you, what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went to the bathroom and then he, and then he made himself throw up all the, the pills he took, like all the <laughs> melatonin pills he took. <laughs> when was, and this was Friday night? 
Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Jeez Louise, man. Uh, this is what it is. You know, I eat eight, eight, like, no, no, seven, seven, seven pills, Miotan in total. Oh my God. Uh, I'm starting to scare it, or maybe I'm, I'm still sleeping in a fight. I need to go with throw up. Oh, how'd you make yourself throw up? Is this one? Ah, oh, that is <laughs> gross. Saya, you were there when this happened? Yeah, I was like, why do you keep like, why do you keep doing this? You know, oh everything was perfect, and you just came up with this. That is ah, uh, because I'm always have problem with the, with the sleep. I I can't go sleep. Yeah, sometimes I stay like all night, don't sleep. You know, just go and lie. Nothing. You can't watch and something. Watch a movie. Watch uh, listen to some music. Listen to something to help you fall asleep. Nothing. Nothing works. It doesn't help me. Okay. It's nothing to help me, no. Well, when you walk out, you look very calm, very relaxed. No one can tell. Now we're going to think about this all the time when you fight. And uh, you always have a fun call out. This time you called out uh, Rafael Nadal. You called out Nadal. You called out Vince Vaughn. You called out Hasbula. I thought, can I be honest? I thought you were going to call out Conor McGregor. You had the whole thing this past, the, the week leading up to the fight. It felt like a, a perfect time to do it. Why didn't you call him out in that moment? Oh, I don't know. Everyone tried to call it McGregor, bro. Everyone tried to call it him. Like I don't want to. I don't. I don't, I don't want to step in the same way, you know. Everyone who, like, who Chandler, like everyone won't fight with him. Okay, somebody go and fight with this guy. But uh, for me, you know, I wanna, I wanna gauge it now. Uh, yes, I thought about about uh, Rafael Nadal. But bro, this guy, he make a tennis. Okay, we give him his business, you know, this his job. Okay, he's going to make his job, you know. But we need to gauge it. I don't know why I don't I don't know man why he don't don't still don't answer me nothing. He have also injury. Same, you know, we need to know. We need to find out who is the like knows job, what who is better now. So that's the one you want, and yeah, but he still he still say nothing. You know? He's he, he hasn't responded to you once. Yeah. Mm. Why do you want Gaethje? Yeah, I, yeah, I want I want him. This that's a good fight, man. You know, we like what what if 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 he don't fight with me, if he don't fight me, with who he gonna fight with Darius or Gamrot, and uh, this is not good match for him. For him, this is a good match with me now because you know, he likes Thai fighting. He likes a fight, and I like a fight. If you want to wrestle, you need to wait there or come up. You know, I think I'm a good match for him now. I love it. I think it's an incredible fight. Do you know if the UFC, maybe Syed knows, is the UFC interested in this fight? Have you heard from them about it? Uh, Syed Chomsky's on. Ну, ты слышал, хочет ли UFC организация боя или нет? Заинтересованы ли они? Я думаю, UFC хотят. Я думаю, что они просто не могут это сделать. 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 And friendly, so why yeah. not? Well, it feels like you're on the same timeline because you both got surgery around the same time. You're both ranked around the same. It makes sense. The styles match up. Makes sense. And I feel like for you, after this one, after RDA, there's like two two more wins and you're in the title picture. Would you agree with that? Yeah, man. I I hope like I win the gauge. And after this, after win the gauge, I'm, I'm really close. Yeah. Really, really close for this, you know. Now, oh, now, Chad, uh, Mahachev with Oliveira now. Yeah. In Abu Dhabi. Yeah. And uh, if I fight with this guy, yeah, that's, that's really good. Who do you think that's wins really that? Close. Who do you think wins that one? Oh, well, always have one, always have, a, have just one, one way. Uh, I win on all my opponent lost. No, but who do you think wins? Charles Oliveira or Islam Makhachev? Ah, I'm telling you this. I, I think Makhachev. Yeah. 
I think Mahachev win because the, he have uh, good control on the top. You know, I think well, he have more chance. I will see. And and how would you feel if after that fight, uh, Alexander Volkanovsky goes to fifty five and fights for the belt? How I feel? Yeah. But I feel nice, bro. Like this is. He's a he's a beat everyone in his division, and now he he want to go to one fifty five. And he if he win the belt, we have one more legend. We have one more legend, like same time champion in one forty five and one fifty five. But uh, yeah, he take he want to take my gold. That that's why I'm sad. <laughs> that's no good when somebody won't take my gold. By the way, uh, since I'm asking you these things, what do you think? Uh, Nathan Diaz or Hamza Chemaev? Um, I think Chemaev. You think Chemaev? No chance, Diaz? I think like Diaz. He has more of his game. I think he has. Okay. Um, by the way, I saw on your Instagram after the fight, you know, I'm uh, my, my parents are from the Middle East, Egypt and Lebanon. So I, I grew up eating a lot of uh, Middle Eastern food, and I saw you had all kinds of food like kanafe. Did you have kanafe? Did I see that? You got all kinds of uh, yeah. Middle Eastern delights. Yeah. Incredible stuff. Where did you get this from? I was very. It looked amazing. It was all wrapped up nicely and everything. Where did you get this from? Uh, this one, my brother, he's coming from Dearborn, from Michigan. And they have ah. a lot of big, like, big Arabic, Arabic, uh, lots of Arabic people here. Yes, was it zap, good? Zap, zap. It, 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 it. Was it good? And yeah, he bring, he bring when he coming to my fight, he bring a lot of kunafa and panklava and all this stuff. Oh, it's the best, right? Isn't that the best? Oh, sure. After yeah, after fight when I come back to the room, oh, this kunafa, how it's going? <laughs> oh. You ever have sahlab? You know sahlab? It's like a kind of like a milk, hot milk drink. It's like a little bit thick, fantastic, with some nuts on top and some honey. Tremendous. Ah, uh, honey and milk. Yeah. But it's like thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the honey and milk, but, but we're not call it like that. Okay. Uh, you wear the, you wear the, my father wears the same thing that you wear. You wear like the long gown. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. My father wears yeah, the same yeah. thing. And did you play with the beads also? You play with those beads? Yeah. You you hold that yes. in your hand? Yes, yes. Sir. What do they call that? When I pray. Tasbih. Tasbih, okay. Now, but so would you fight you you don't do you fight during Ramadan? Do you train during Ramadan? Yeah, I'm trained. I'm just training in Ramadan. But would you just take one time a day? Would you take a fight? Um Good. No, I want fasting in Ramadan. You know, Ramadan for me is like you know. Yeah. I want fasting, but I know we have, I know we have a business, but I try always fight before Ramadan or, or after Ramadan. You know, I try always, and, I, and when we talk with Syed, like I ask him always, okay, we need to fight before Ramadan or after. Yeah. Because in Ramadan, I need, I need to. It's hard. You can't drink during the day. You can't eat during the day. No, in Taiwan it's okay because like we we eat like close like five thirty a.m. and we start to eat uh, like like six thirty p.m. Okay, so not 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 too much. Okay, and so and so now Thailand is your home, right? That's where you live full time. Yeah, no, yeah, last six years. It's a good life for you there. You like it there? Yeah, yeah, Thailand is good, good place. Well, it seems like everything's going well for you. You seem to be in a good spot. Uh, I like. By the way, who comes up with the callouts? Is it you or is it Syed? Is it uh, Danny? Who is it with the Hasbula and Vince Vaughn? Who's who's the who's the brain behind all of these? Oh, bro, we have one big brain because <laughs> we're a team, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Ruby brain. That's what you guys. Uh, it's one big Ruby brain. Yep. I like it. I like it. Just do me a favor. Next time, no melatonin, okay? Because that could really mess you up. Maybe you don't win the fight if you don't throw up. It worked, right? The throw up. Maybe who know, bro? Who know? But but I throw up this this time. Good. But I never more use this. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Well, congratulations on the win. I hope you make a full recovery. 
The nose is a very sensitive part of the body, so you have to take care of it. I know, look at this nose. I have one punch, poof, explosion. You see this nose? Massive. <laughs> see that? That's why I take good care of this it. Is legend this is legendary nose, bro. The what nose? Legendary, legendary nose. nose. Oh, legendary. legendary yes, nose. yes, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 thank you, my friend. Uh, congrats. Feel better. Salam alaikum, my brother. Well, thank you, man. Saya, thank you as well. Yeah, take care. Yeah. All right, take care, guys. There he is, Rafael Faziev, one of the top contenders at 155 pounds. I would love to see that fight. 